Hello, and welcome to Megger's technical support video. In this video, we will discuss how to install RTMS on a PC. Let's get started. Locate the file downloaded from the Megger site and select it. This will start the installation process for PowerDB to install RTMS. There will be a few options that we will have to look at during this installation process. At this point we will hit next. We will accept the terms and conditions. Select Next. This is the default location where PowerDB will install the program. If you do not wish to choose this location, then you can select Change, and there's a couple of options inside the Change menu to allow you to change the location. If this location is good, then select Next. Now we have a few options. We can choose American English, leave the units to Imperial, can choose a frequency at 60 and the power factor and the standard ANSI can be left at defaults. In this option, in this window, we have light, advanced, and pro reader options to install. In the, for this purposes only, we will use the light and the advanced. Select next. And now we will begin the install process. As you can see, PowerDB has installed a few icons on the desktop. You can wish to keep these here, or you can delete them. The program will always be in the Start menu. At this point, we will finish the installation. Now PowerDB will be asking for optional driver setup for different pieces of equipment. We will select Next. Now we will see the MTO driver, MWA driver, or the Delta Control driver. Currently for RTMS we do not need these drivers, so we will just select Next. We will select Install, and nothing will be installed at this point. Now we can do Finish. Now we will select the PowerDB 11.2 Lite and start this program. This will be the main option window. We can select the SMRT unit from the relay test set list or we can also go into the favorites and select the SMRT from here as well. They both go to the same location. In this window we want to make sure that the model states SMRT and use Ethernet option is checked. This will allow us to get into the simulate mode. And we will select OK. With this window, we have a few buttons. One is simulate device, the next one will be use last test set, and then if we are connected to a test set, there will be an, op an extra button that will populate here that will dictate which test set we are actually tied to if you are tied to more than one. 
the serial number of the unit will be populated. For this we will select simulate device. Now this is a simulation home screen and to verify that we are in simulate we will make sure that the connection icon is yellow. If it turns green then we know that we are actually selected to a unit. We will verify this by hitting system configuration. We will go to display versions. And on the right hand side you'll notice that the PowerDB version has populated here and this is the version of software that we have just installed. On the left you notice there is nothing which indicates that we are not connected to a test set. So no test set information will be populated. That will be all for this video.